soil is an immense hotbed of living organisms. It feeds us, and we all depend on it. Even though it covers the earth in a thin layer that is only a few dozen centimeters thick, it is the site of intense activity and home to an extremely rich ecosystem. Insects, worms, and the billions of bacteria that live in soil digest mineral, plant, and animal matter like a huge stomach. Then they convert this matter into the nutrients necessary for plant growth. These plants will in turn provide food for human beings and animals. But the fine layer around the earth is delicate. In dry and arid environments, it is particularly vulnerable. It can take 500 years for 2.5 centimeters of soil to form, but only a few years to destroy it. This is called desertification. Contrary to popular perception, desertification refers to land degradation resulting from climactic variations and human activities. It is not a natural process. It is the result of mankind's actions. Today, a third of land is threatened by desertification. Over centuries, we have developed hyper-productive farming methods to feed billions of people. We have turned infertile deserts into lush green plains. But this type of farming might also damage soil and could rather turn fertile plains into deserts. Because in arid areas, water shortages affect the soil. The balance is fragile and soil is vulnerable. Mankind's actions could lead to its slow degradation. The use of chemical fertilizers weakens the living organisms responsible for soil fertility. Regular plowing dries out and compacts soil. Deforestation and overgrazing strip soil of the vegetation cover that protects it from erosion. Without branches protecting it and roots supporting it, soil dries out and is carried away by wind and rain. Poorly managed irrigation systems may also increase soil salinity and make it infertile. Climate change, also caused by mankind, worsens these problems. This is why land covering 12 million hectares, equivalent to Bulgaria, is lost every year. Desertification does not only affect Africa. It affects arid areas at all latitudes and on all continents. China, India, the United States, Australia, 13 countries in Europe. In all, 110 countries are affected by soil degradation. In fact, desertification affects all mankind because soil exhaustion is reducing world food production. And as consumption and the population are on the increase, it becomes harder to feed billions of human beings. Every year, the equivalent of 20 million tons of cereal is lost through desertification. And yet, it is not irreversible. A possible solution is planting trees to anchor the soil, increase moisture levels, and slow down wind erosion, like in the north of China, where billions of trees have been planted to form another Great Wall. Africa has also started building its Great Green Wall, from Senegal to Djibouti. On a smaller scale, the construction of vegetation fences around crops also helps to anchor the soil. Another solution to preserve land is farming without plowing. Throughout the world, zero tillage farming is already yielding abundant crops on 95 million hectares of land. Farmers are the main players in the fight against desertification. Subsistence and commercial farmers are at the heart of a new green revolution, which combines the yields of modern farming with the preservation of the environment, and especially soil because another form of agriculture is possible. It is based on simple, inexpensive techniques 
that are adapted to the poorest populations. This is known as agroecology. According to the United Nations, agroecology would make it possible to double world food production. Fighting desertification means preserving soil and feeding the planet.